I visit hundreds of elementary school classrooms each year, and in class after class, I'm hearing that the number one job kids want to have when they grow up is being a... YouTuber. 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 Some of these kids already have their own channels, and others think that anybody can be a famous YouTuber or Instagram celebrity as long as they film themselves having fun and then post it online. Entertainment channels like Ryan Toys Review or Toys and Me really do make the job look fun. You see kids playing games, going to amusement parks, unboxing toys, and giving away Kinder Eggs. When first grader Tiana is busy with a school play, her parents fill in and post a video of themselves making slime blindfolded. When Ryan and his dad both want the biggest piece of cake, they decide to settle it with a fun game of Laser Tag Blasters Ryan's World Edition, available on Amazon. If a seven-year-old earned $22 million in 2018, then it should be a piece of cake to pull in a living wage on YouTube, right? Well, just like any career, YouTube has its advantages and disadvantages. So today, I'm going to show you what it really feels like to be a YouTuber. Being a YouTuber is like volunteering to run in front of a monster that never sleeps. You don't build a career by making a good video. You build a career by producing videos consistently over time. Once a week, three times a week, five times a week, every day. On YouTube, posting videos is like providing life support for your channel. You stop uploading videos, you flatline or the monster gets you, or you're laid off, or your income plunges. Think of it however you want. The pressure to create content is real, and this means that it is particularly challenging when you're first starting out. A team of 10 or so people can produce enough videos to keep the monster satisfied. But if you're one person, it's tough, really tough. With a production crew of one, it can easily take five hours of work per minute of video produced, which means putting out a 10 minute video every week equates to about 50 hours of work a week. That's more than a full-time job. You might be thinking to yourself that five hours of production time per minute video produced is ridiculous. After all, someone could do a live stream every morning. They could film themselves eating breakfast and that 10 minutes of filming would result in 10 minutes of video, boom, with no editing or work whatsoever. But if they want anyone to watch that live stream or for that live stream to come up first when someone searches for breakfast, then that's going to take a lot of time. Time planning the live stream so that it's entertaining, so that it serves some need for the audience or promotes an emotional reaction time spent designing clever titles and thumbnails, time filming, time refilming, and editing, and editing, and editing. There's no getting around it. Good content requires an investment of time. What happens if you get sick, or your house needs to be repaired, or your child needs attention, or you need a vacation? Hopefully you've planned ahead and uploaded videos in advance, because if not... The search algorithms will not be pleased. Do you remember those two channels we mentioned at the beginning? Toys and Me has posted three videos a week consistently for over three years. Ryan Toys has made even more. They've averaged eight videos per week, which represents a lot of work. But for every channel that posted multiple times a week and made it past a million subscribers, I could find you ten more that have posted just as regularly, yet have remained quite small. This brings us to another fact that makes it challenging when you're first starting out on YouTube, and that's that it's not enough to post content. You have to also promote it. You need to send press releases to media outlets, be active on social media, post to groups and forums. And the sad fact is, attention harvesting favors the giants. Small channels aren't going to earn enough to pay their bills. For every 1,000 views a channel earns, they might earn a dollar, but it can be a lot less. The self-employed YouTuber needs to be pulling in hundreds of thousands of views a month if they want to have any type of job security from ad revenue and sponsors. So if you want to be a YouTuber, expect to work long hours, expect to work for several years without earning anything before you start to see an income, and expect to beg people to subscribe and hit the like button and leave comments because those interactions from viewers are like magic rocket boosters, helping you stay in the race a little longer. We covered the disadvantages, but the advantages are real and they're pretty cool. You get to have creative control over your career and do whatever you want to do. 
Another plus is the community. The connections that you can form both with other creators who are making content and with your viewers can be wonderful. There's nothing quite like pouring your heart and soul into a project and then finding out that it made a real difference to someone else. That type of connection is incredibly rewarding. This is not an easy job, but if you are creating content that brings you value, it's an incredibly rewarding and satisfying career. Best of luck. I'm curious, how long did you spend on this so you want to be a YouTuber video in oh, total? I don't even know if I want to total it up. It's going to be kind of discouraging. Uh, let's see. Now we're probably looking at a good 50 hours of work. I hope that for career week, several teachers will have a chance to, to show it and use it and talk about that job because I feel like a lot of kids, a lot of kids want to be YouTubers when they grow up. Andrew, what do you want? Do you think it'll discourage them or motivate them? I hope it'll give them more <laughs> realistic expectations. That's what I hope. All right. Realistic expectations are important. I think if people start out with a career with the idea, they're less likely to burn out and more likely to have, have a good experience and get off on the right foot. They won't quit their day jobs too early, like I did. Mm -hmm.